David Frost has blasted the weakness of the UK position in negotiations that led to the establishment of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Boris Johnson's former Brexit negotiator also slammed the EU for their lack of pragmatism in relation to the current difficulties over the protocol. Mr. Frost argued that the deal he negotiated while a member of Mr. Johnson's government would have run smoothly had it been fully applied by the EU. Writing in a foreword to a report by the policy exchange think tank Mr. Frost challenged the Irish government to focus on an all-island economy. He said, shaped as the protocol is by relative UK weakness and EU predominance in the withdrawal agreement negotiations, it enshrines a concept, the all-island economy, which suits the EU, Ireland, and their allies politically but which does not exist in real life. The protocol arrangements could only have worked if, in real life, the EU regulatory framework had not been fully applied in practice, recognizing, for example, the protocol's requirement to minimize checks and controls at Northern Ireland ports, and there had been much more pragmatism in its operation. As it was, the EU's purism and its casually destructive handling undermined East-West links from the start and are now bringing the Belfast Good Friday agreement itself into great peril. Mr. Frost added that implementation of the protocol should have taken into account the economic reality of trade between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, which the report argues is minimal. Only 4% of the goods and services produced in Northern Ireland cross the border to the Republic, while 16% go to Great Britain, and 31% of imports to Northern Ireland are from the rest of the UK, the report claims. It comes as Boris Johnson is understood to be considering publishing a bill this week which would allow the British government to unitarily override parts of the protocol. It is a move that has sparked fury in Brussels and Dublin.